Scott Walker's new bill that he's trying to pass. He's, he wants to get rid of unions. Well, I think uh, if you want corporate greed and have a recession like what happened in 2008, get rid of unions. Because what it does, it allows corporations to run wild and to have that happen, happen. And that's exactly what the Republicans want. Because the corporations are the people who donate the money to their campaigns. Uh, without unions, there would be chaos in the streets. If it wasn't for unions, we wouldn't have middle class. We would have poor and rich, which is kind of what's happening now. Because uh, because conservatives are getting more power, they want to get rid of unions and. It looks like they're going to get rid of unions. Right, and uh, basically, what do you what do you think about someone who uh, is just about a little below middle class and uh, being a conservative Republican? Let's face it. Anybody who makes over two hundred thousand a year should be a Republican, because Republicans are going to make sure that. Your taxes, if you make over 200000 a year, don't go up. But the Democrats, if you make over 200000 are going to make sure that they do go up. So, look, if I made over $200,000 a year, then I would definitely vote Republican because those are – Republicans and rich people go hand in hand. So I don't see how anybody could – Support the Republicans if you make under two hundred thousand a year. If you make fifty thousand a year, why would you want a guy who's making a million dollars a year to pay less taxes when you you can't buy milk for your family? Exactly. I mean, I guess gun rights. I guess that's pretty much the only thing that a poor person might support them uh, Republicans on is because it is true that Republicans want less gun control. They want more guns in people's hands. So if you want guns, then I guess you should vote Republican. Exactly. And, uh, well, basically, what do you, what do you think about, uh, what do you, what do you think about that phone conversation, uh, Scott Walker had with, uh, the guy who, uh, pretended to be David Koch? Did you hear about that? Well, I think that it reveals the truth that what they want is they want the secret underhanded dealings to happen. They don't want the media to find out about what the truth is and they don't want the Obama administration getting in the middle of it because the Obama administration wants to stop it. Right, and all Scott Walker had to say was get your head out of Wisconsin what, get your head out of Wisconsin, what are you doing here? You got enough debt to worry about with the rest of this country. Exactly, and uh, I mean, I mean, he could solve the problem. This this problem could be solved though if he just sent some troops back from Afghanistan. So, so I mean, what's the big deal? Why don't you just do that? And that's the thing. People talk about, oh, we need to cut this, we need to cut that. You know, we need to cut. Education, we need to cut funding for disabled people, get rid of Social Security. Well, guess what? We spend so much more on our military and defense spending than any other program we have. So until we start cutting defense and getting out of these countries that have, we have no business being in, we shouldn't even talk about cutting any other program. Right. Exactly. And, uh, what, what do you think about, uh, Glenn Beck? Glenn Beck used to be a morning zoo radio host, uh, who hosted a shock jock type show. He was a conservative, he wasn't a, a po political guy, he was a goofy radio guy. 
and he saw that the Rush Limbaugh type radio was getting popular, so he decided to change his act and become this moral, religious, uh, political guy. It's all an act. It's all fake. It's all for money. He's not. He, he doesn't care. It's all money. He's selling books. He's living in mansions. I mean, he, he's a phony. Yeah, and however, what about a Bill O'Reilly? Bill O'Reilly pretends to be independent and down the middle. I don't know of any politician or any uh, liberal bill that he supports. He supports the Republican agenda, but he pretends to be down the middle. He says, oh, I'm fair and balanced, uh, but actually he is more uh, Republican than uh, anybody else. Yeah, and what do, you, what do you think about Fox News? Fox News in general? Fox News pretend, you know, perfect fit, Fox News and Bill O'Reilly. Fox News pretends to 